Okay, for a lighter sort of note, um, I'm going to do another game review today, and after looking through my videos, I have not done a Dreamcast review. Holy crap, my box is backwards. And upside down. I haven't done a game review, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually do something different for you guys today. It has to do with the game system, but you know, the heck. I am going to do a Dreamcast review today, but not of a game. I'm going to do a review of the Dream SNES emulator. Now, before you guys bash on me for these being burned discs, the, this is simply a Dreamcast emulator for the SNES. Um, this is homebrew, therefore legal. So, I forgot the people who made this. You guys rock. Um, but where there is good in this, I also have some problems with it, and um, and I will show you in this video what problems precisely I happen to have. Now, this does have its pros and cons, please. Now, despite its minor problems, this is going to be the best Dreamcast Super Nintendo emulator you're going to find, regardless. And, okay. On that, or like I said, it's going to be probably the best emulator for the Super Nintendo on the Dreamcast you can find. It is freeware, like it says. Now, I like this for the most part. One second. Alright. It's got some cheesy music in the background. Now, this is the disc, um, I believe this is A through... A through M. Yeah, A through M. Now, pretty good game for the most part a pretty good emulator for the most part. Now, let's see, let me pick a good game. Oh, by the way, it says in-store demos and crap like that, too. So it's literally got almost everything. Um. So. Here, let's try... Alright, here's one. We're gonna play Kirby Superstar, or, or Kirby Superstar. Now, I've, now, if this game's anything like a couple of the others, you're gonna see one of the reasons why I, why I don't like the emulation on some of these. Is, you see, the games are mildly slowed. And whenever your VMU is processing, it will beep and skip. Such as. Alright. Now, You can play all these on Superstar Ultra, so don't bother getting this version. Now... Everyone knows how to play Kirby, so just... Now, one 
one problem I strongly have is that this game, or all of the emulation, is fairly poor. And I'm trying to remember which button brings me back to the menu. Wait. Alright, if you hold the D-pad, or the analog stick to the left for like five seconds, it'll bring you back to the menu. Now, like I said, it's slow, but the one, or one of the major problems I have is it has no capability of emulating any of the Super FX games. This is most certainly going to be a two-game or two-part review. Um, this is a basic overview of it. We're going to have to get to part two. So, David Gracious, Slash Mini Films out.